Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today we have a very cool Cinema 4D tutorial for you guys and we're going to be working on creating uh, some shapes and to make it form text. Uh, we're going to be predominantly using splines and I did actually upload this preview of the tutorial onto my Facebook page uh, to get your guys feedback. Um, it got a reasonable amount of likes and everything and it's a very quick thing, reasonably easy. Um, so I thought I'd make a tutorial, why not if people want to learn from it. Um, obviously this is the preview here for those who didn't see it, obviously we've got the CDHD, uh, it won't take a genius to work out what that stands for, uh, but you know we've got a nice material on the CDHD, uh, I'm not going to be uh, discussing that in the tutorial, but uh, obviously it goes around the text and it just generally forms the outline, and that is the core of what we're going to be working on, I'm going to be creating, uh, I'm going to have the base of the tutorial and I'm going to go on a little bit more where you can, I'm going to show different options you could use if you want to try and mix it up. Um, but anyway, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into Cinema 4D and we'll get started. Uh, so to start off, we're going to actually make the cube itself. So just add in a cube. Change the size. I'm going to make it 10. 10, 10. Obviously, I want it to be cubes. So I'm going to have it by 10. And go ahead and add in a cloner object for that. So hold cloner. If you hold alt, the cube will come as a child of that. So that's okay. And obviously, we've got three here, and you can change it to grid array. However, this does make it slightly awkward when messing with the parameters later. Uh, so, I'm going to add in another cube, drag it over here, uh, make it invisible just to the camera. And if you change the cloner from mode to object, and then drag that cube uh, into the object, you'll basically start forming in here, and it makes it. Uh, just generally a lot nicer and you get a nicer feel for it. Um, so that's all done. Make the text now. We need to go into uh, this tool and obviously make text. It needs to be just the spline outline of it, not actual 3D text. So I'm going to type, I'm not going to type anything if that's the way it's working. So I, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, start again. Text and we'll type in CDHD. And the font I'm going to use is called Evolution. Evolution. Uh, this is the same one that I used in the preview. Uh, so I'll make it as similar as possible. Problem with this font is the spacing is really close together. We don't want it to overlap, so just increase the horizontal spacing a fair amount. And again, increase the height because if you uh, work out, for example, that the cubes are going to go around the outline of the text, you don't want them to be. Uh, overlapping and going over each other for example the top of the C you don't want the cubes there to be touching uh, that lower part of the C because it's going around the outside and not in the middle so bear that in mind you want the text to be of a reasonable size uh, so when that's done make sure it's there and you go ahead and go add in another spline make sure the clone is selected so go MoGraph Effector Spline and in this spline just drag the text into the spline like so. And as you'll see, the cubes start to form around the C itself. Obviously there's not many, and it's only on the C. So to fix this, in the spline, change it from use index to full spacing, and it'll cover the whole of the text. But obviously we haven't got many, so there's only a few, so we just need to crank up the amount of cubes that we actually have. Um, so to do this, go change distribution from vertex to volume, and simply just increase the count until it fills it up nicely uh, about 300 obviously this will depend on your font how many letters and how big your text is so uh, bear that in mind it might just be a lot more or a lot less just uh, do whatever looks good obviously you want to fill it like this um, but the text well not the text well the cubes rather are kind of rigid in this all stationary and they just generally look a bit tacky um, so to change this, obviously we're just going to add in a simple random effector. So make sure the clone is selected, MoGraph effector random, low battery, and obviously the cubes have gone all over a place uh, initially. So I just need to tone this down. Um, change the position down. Um, you can turn this completely off uh, so they're all in the line, but I like to make it uh, keep it on and make it quite low. For example, I'll have about four four and four and that way they're all on a line but they're not in a rigid sense so it gives the sense of they're free uh, it makes it look a lot nicer in my opinion obviously you can change that should you will and the rotation is the key aspect just increase the rotation make it as random as you want 
Obviously, it doesn't make much of a difference, but it just makes it look that little bit better. And so there we go. As a whole, that's looking good. Uh, there's a few gaps in between I noticed that don't really connect up, which I don't really like that. So I'm going to make some more cubes. So just go into clone up and just add a few more just to fill in the gaps. And that should uh, more or less do it. There's a few there's a few gaps around it, the D, but uh, uh, not to bother. That's okay. And more or less, guys, that is the tutorial. That's how to do it. Um, cut it off there if that's what you want to know. I'm going to go ahead and carry on and talk about some extra things that you can do. Um, for example, different looks. So in the scales, you know, if you want to make it more random, you can add some rectangles in there, uh, which can make it look quite cool in a way. But uh, that means you do get small gaps because some of them go a lot smaller than actual squares. So, um, you know, if you like that look, okay. And it does look all right. Something different, you know, maybe in an intro you could uh, use it to your advantage. Uh, for the, this time, I'm going to turn it off. And I'll maybe set up a quick scene here uh, just to make it look a little bit better. So sky floor and composite background. So you have a nice standard background. And I'll just lower the floor just a bit so it's on top. Okay. I'll add a camera here as well now, future reference. Drag out, add a light in. I'm going to add a light to the top. Shadow map soft. Just so it's underneath the CDHD, okay. Like so, it's so got a nice little shadow which can look alright. In fact, I'll add one more light just to the front of the text, just to uh, lighten up that little bit more. And there you have it, it's looking a lot nicer. Uh, the texture I'm going to use is from Movie Type, which I was kindly given. So into here, into the presets and material presets, I'm going to use Material 21 drag it at the top obviously you can make this is not that not that difficult but obviously it saves me a bit of time so go ahead and add the random effect uh, as a child of that cloner and as you see there uh, adds that material to the text and that's what I use in the preview and then edit it in Photoshop later to make the different colors uh, you can do that in Cinema 4D but again it is a lot longer and uh, so once that's added you can maybe even add ambient occlusion should you want it to be a little bit nicer uh, increase the contrast to about 20 30 and just the ray length to about 150 ish and that will just generally make a more realistic approach better lighting uh, straightforward one other thing you can do is in the cubes uh, open up here should you want to you can just add a fillet and you can see it pretty much turns into circles then um, but you know you can decrease that to give some rounded edges um, to the cubes like so and even if you wanted to you can have any shape you wanted for example you can have a platonic scale it down just a little bit to 10 I'll drag the cube out for the time being and the platonic in as a child there we go and as you see, you've got a different kind of shape, which can look quite cool. Uh, you can add any kind of shape. Obviously, the circle spheres, maybe these and the cubes would be the most common. Um, add them as you will. The final thing I would like to say is that you can actually have them all at the same time. So, for example, if you just drag the cube in as well and maybe just make a sphere down to 10 and go ahead and add that as a child as well. Uh, in fact, 10 a little bit optimistic. 5 looks more like it. Maybe about 6, 7. Not segments. So 6, 7 should do. Yeah, and there you go. And then you have different shapes. It looks a lot more random. And, you know, you can do so many different effects with this. It's unreal. You can take things in from Illustrator and use that spline. Uh, so basically anything with a spline, you can draw your own spline in Cinema 4D, should you will. Obviously I'm using it with text. Um, but more or less, that's the tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. It is very simple, very quick. Um, so yeah, use it as you will. Uh, please remember to like this video if it did help. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all kind of future updates. Link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.